it's basically everything, everything is going to be in degrees. And again, it's not going to be in the standard form, right? We are so familiar with standard form starting here and then going counterclockwise was positive, right? Yes? So for bearings, again, guys, starting at our angle, our initial side is going to start at due north every single time for at least a couple of these. And then you'll see when it changes. So we're going to start at due north. And then also, going clockwise is now positive. So if I want to draw 110 degrees, well, obviously, guys, we still have that as 90 degrees, right? From here to here is 90 degrees. And then I just need to go an extra um, 20 more degrees, right? So that would be a bearing of 110 degrees. Would look like that. Got it? OK. So then if I want to do 300 degrees, well, guys, we know all the way around right? would be 360. So that's going to be 60 degrees short. So Sam, what I would do is I'd start again due north. I'd go in the positive direction. And then 60 degrees short would be something like this. So sometimes you'll see bearings represented. It'll say, hey, here's a bearing of this. Just remember, guys, when you have that, you're starting at due north. And then clockwise is going to be positive. All right? Um, then the next thing is, well, what if sometimes when they, would they not start at due north? Well, what if I gave you a bearing that looked like this, which is sev south. 70 degrees east. So what that means is now it's telling you where to start. You are going to start due south, and you're going to travel 70 degrees to the east. Or I could start at due north again, and I can say north 60 degrees west. OK? Now notice. Actually, what I did was I just drew the exact same angle in two different ways. Or I'm sorry, and labeled them in two different ways. Right? You guys see it? See how they're like just drawn or are labeled differently? Same angle, though. And again, one's not more correct than the other. You're just going to see both types. So you just need to make sure you understand if you're given a problem, you know, how to represent that as, a, as an angle. All right? The other thing that's important about bearings, which I'll just remind you of, it's not actually in our notes, but it is for students that are looking up here and not looking at anywhere else to make sure that they recall, is that complementary and supplementary angles. That's going to be very helpful in your word problem. So remember, guys, complementary angles are two angles that add up to give you 90 degrees. So like a lot of times, if we needed to, for instance, if we had a bearing here and I needed to figure this out, well, I know, guys, um, that obviously, you know, from here is going to be 90 degrees. You could see like that. Then um, this is 60 degrees short, right? So that means that would be 30 degrees, right? Because 30 and 60 are complementary, right? So making sure you understand that. Remember that um, the complementary angles. In the same respect, like if this is 60 degrees, right? Then we know that's. Oh, let's not do that one. Let's do. Here, let's do this one. From here to here, we know is 180. So if this is 110, then we know that would be 70 degrees, right? Not all of our word problems are just we're given an angle, but that doesn't mean we're like we're going to need to use angles based off of that angle, right? So just remember, complementary supplementary angles are two angles that add to 180. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees, right? We're going to need to use that as our advantage. Okay, any questions on that?